Hey Jane, we're just going to go through your lesson today. So we basically covered again the same thing that we did uh, last session with your body pivot. Now I understand that your body pivot didn't quite feel as good as what you wanted it to because we hadn't changed something else. So I was hoping to change the next week when I saw you, but things changed in our schedules and we couldn't get together. So uh, it ended up being three weeks and a bit too long apart for that change that we made. So the main main thing with your pivot that we're after is try and get your shoulders, hips, and knees all turning more level. So when you turn back, we don't get this look where your knees are a different height, hips are a different height, and your body gets this pivoting look where your torso kind of stands up and your sternum's up howdy high, and we get this position where your back is reverse pivoting away from the from the target uh, towards the target right? reverse pivoting towards the target so when that happens on the way back down you're not going to stay there it's going to un it's going to turn back out the opposite direction we can see on the right and left panel how much more level everything is knees hips your right hips feeling like it's turning back towards the wall. Your right shoulders feeling like it's turning back towards the wall as well. So that's what should happen with your body pivot. Your body pivot should just turn around itself rather than rather than tipping and just your weight sliding into your right hip. We should actually have your legs and muscles in your hip and lower back working rather than just sliding from side to side. Now once you've achieved this with your body, we need to match up what's happening with your arms. Now the part that needs to match up is your right arm. I'm just going to pull up a different swing here now. We can see on this left frame your right arm tends to come in really close to your side. There's also not much distance. Your right hand has really turned and pulled the club away from the target. So it's pointing out somewhere in this region we want your right hand pointing still back down towards the target this way for that for that length of the backswing it shouldn't be so far around it should get that far around but not as early as that now consequently what that creates is a flat backswing where your right arm suck, sucked out a long way behind you rather than your body being back there your arms back there so we need to get your body working back that way a little bit so your arm doesn't have to work back that way so much by itself so that's it for today. So the right arm's that slapping feel where it's like more straight back and through and the better pivot. That should match things out better together. Good luck with the practice.